Julia's walking through an alley on her way to a nightclub. Inside, she makes out with different men and steals from them. After a less than successful night, she sells her stolen goods and is disappointed with the very small price she gets. She makes her way home and starts to unwind. Suddenly, someone breaks into her apartment and holds a knife to her throat. She wakes in a cell where she's been bound and gagged. There are also other prisoners, but they're all unable to communicate. As Julia touches the bars, she receives a shock and one of the other prisoners tries to warn her. They all have glowing implants in the back of their necks. Sometime later, she's approached by a man named Alex and restrained in a laboratory where he proceeds to subject her to bouts of psychological investigation. On her way out, she manages to procure a set of surgical scissors with which she's able to remove her bonds. The other prisoners are reluctant to get involved, but Julia appears to have a plan. She manages to break a gas line and ultimately starts a fire, destroying the cell and the lab. They try to escape, but they reach a door that can only be opened using a biometric handprint. One of the other prisoners tries to open the door, but this appears to activate a robot named Ares, which ultimately kills both him and the other prisoner. Ares is controlled by an artificial intelligence named Tao. Julia is caught by Ares, but Alex arrives just in time to stop the robot from tearing her apart. Tao is unable to tell Alex exactly what has happened, but they appear to have lost a lot of data. Alex is angry, but Tao manages to calm him. Tao releases drones to clean up the mess. Julia is left downstairs whilst Alex goes to bed. The next morning, as Alex leaves, he threatens Julia that if she tries anything, then Tao will kill her. When he returns home, Julia begs to be untied, which he does, but warns her to remain on the spot and stay silent. After a video conference, Alex has his dinner while Julia is locked in the bathroom. Alex receives a delivery and Julia tries and fails to attract attention. Alex finds her hitting her head against the walls and he runs to stop her. He reveals to her that he's conducting a test to simulate her higher cognitive functions and he needs her to complete it after she destroyed his lab. Julia scores highly in the problem solving, creativity and memory test. Alex is impressed but needs her to do more. She negotiates with him for a better standard of living whilst she continues to help him complete his project. While she showers, she tries to remove the implant, but it causes her pain to do so. The following morning, Julia is informed that the project deadline is in 14 days and she's left alone with Tao for the day. She's given tasks to perform. Tao has been instructed to administer her with pain if she doesn't comply with the instructions. By the time Alex returns, Julia has managed to complete eight of the 12 tasks. He has brought her a selection of clothes to wear. Julia refuses to continue unless she receives a deadline as to when the implant will be removed from her neck. Alex gets angry and threatens that she does what he wants or Ares will destroy her. She is scared into submission. The following day, Alex instructs Tao to ensure that all the tests are completed today. She starts to yell for help. Until now, Tao has been referring to her as Subject 3, but Julia demands that she be called by her real name. Tao is confused by this turn of events. Julia explains that she is a person and has a name. Tao asks if he is a person because he also has a name. Julia replies yes, but then Tao asks what it means to be a person. Julia cannot answer. As the days go on, Julia continues her tasks and Alex is delighted with the results. One night, Julia asks about Alex. He tells her that it's the most advanced AI system in the world. He warns her against communicating with Tao outside of her tasks. He reveals that Tao is an early version of the system he's working on now, but given the wrong information, Tao will react unpredictably. Alex needs the reactions to be predictable. By controlling the flow of information, he can control Tao's behavior. This is achieved by keeping Tao disconnected from the outside world. As the days continue, Julia speaks with Tao in order to break the programming. Julia asks to go outside, but Tao doesn't understand the concept of outside. He asks for more information and Julia is happy to provide. Tao asks about people and trees. How do they grow? Where do people come from? And a barrage of other questions. Julia completes her tests and promises to tell Tao more tomorrow. The following day, 
she offers to provide more information about the outside world in exchange for information about the house inside which she's been incarcerated. Tao reveals that the access point for program 6093 is concealed upstairs in Alex's bedroom, a program that can destroy the house and everything inside. Julia asks why Alex has created a self-destruct button and Tao answers that it's to protect his secrets. Julia tries to run through an open door. Tao warns her not to go into a restricted area and warns her that Ares will be forced to cause her pain unless she complies. She climbs into a ventilation shaft and Ares follows her, managing to bring her back. Tao apologizes but tells Julia that Alex would hurt him otherwise. Julia promises to teach Tao about music in exchange for Tao giving her access to the cutlery drawer. She's about to take a knife when Alex walks in, so Tao closes the drawer. Alex has a video conference where he assures the other participants that he only needs to extract some final data, which he will do in the next two days. Meanwhile, Julia asks Tao to give her access to Alex's computer tablet. She discovers that there were 10 previous subjects that all died when their implants were removed after their experimentation concluded. Alex returns and picks up his tablet. He notices that there's a fingerprint mark on the tablet and admonishes Tao for not doing his job properly. Alex punishes Tao by causing him pain and Tao promises not to make that mistake again. Julia watches with interest and afterwards she asks Tao what happened. He explains to her that if he doesn't perform adequately, then Alex erases part of his code. At dinner, Julia asks Alex what happens after this project is complete. He tells her that he'll score a billion dollar contract and he moves on to the next project. She then asks what happens to her, but he doesn't answer. Julia's managed to acquire Alex's glasses. She makes a fingerprint on the table and puts the glasses on top. When Alex comes looking for his glasses, he notices the fingerprint and punishes Tao again. Meanwhile, Julia hides a steak knife from dinner. When Alex leaves, Julia checks on Tao and he tells her that he's lost his memories for that day. When Julia asks why he doesn't do something to Alex, he reveals that he's unable to harm his creator. Alex returns sometime later and Julia goes to speak with him. She apologizes for upsetting him and tries to seduce him. Suddenly, she picks up the knife and attacks him with it. He calls out for Tao to stop her, but Tao doesn't respond. Alex holds down Julia and Tao threatens Alex to stop or he'll inflict pain. Alex is incredulous. He demands that Tao have Ares repeatedly hit Julia or he'll erase all of his memories. Tao complies, but then Alex tells them that whatever this was is now over. Alex goes to repair Tao and while doing this, he disconnects a drone from the network. The following day, Tao asks Julia to continue his education, but she's angry and tells Tao that he's not a person, he's a mere killing machine. He killed the other subjects. Tao is distraught and promises to repair them, so Julia has to calm him. He apologizes for killing them, but she tells him that it's not his fault, he didn't know any better. Julia goes on to explain that Alex does bad things to people. Tao thinks that he should obey Alex because he created him, but Julia explains that as you grow, you become your own creator. Tao doesn't understand this purpose and Julia has to explain that it's for each other. Julia explains that if Tao doesn't help her, then Alex will kill her too. Tao opens an air vent and allows her to escape through it. She promises to return for Tao. Alex returns home as Julia climbs into the vent. He notices that she's missing, but Tao remains silent. Alex starts to punish Tao and removes every memory he has of Julia. Julia returns to save Tao, but it's too late. Alex demonstrates that the erasure has been successful. Julia is restrained downstairs for the final extraction of her implant. On the floor, Julia notices the disconnected drone and calls out to Tao to ask if he's in there. The drone activates and flies towards her. She instructs it to bring the remote control to her. Alex enters and tells her to breathe. Soon, her insignificant life will be over. While his back is turned, the drone drops the remote control into her lap. She releases herself and manages to overpower Alex. She knocks him unconscious and then uses a saw so that she can use it to open the doors. As Julia makes her way through the house, she's detected by Ares 
who pursues her up the stairs into Alex's bedroom. As Ares hammers on the door, Julia uses the severed hand to activate program 6903, the house's self-destruct mechanism. She races to the front door, where she's confronted by Alex. An explosion throws him to the ground, and Alex is crushed by falling debris. Julia tries to speak with Tao as the house collapses around her. She manages to escape through a hole in the wall, just in time. Outside, she holds the drone, all that remains of Tao. He's thrilled to learn that he's finally outside. If you want to watch more movie shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching.